Oh, 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 what a goal, baby. What a goal. Oh, yeah. 18.5. We are instantly buying that. God, the cheapest my car was like 36k the other day. Heck yeah. Bam. Huge upgrade to our defense. Gentlemen, welcome back to the Div6 Legends. If you're new to the series, here's the rules. It's a theme team that we got going on here in NHL 23 Huts. Pause the video. You can check out the screen. Jumping back into it, we got a bunch of packs to rip today. I have my rivals rewards here. Went with the untradeable rewards just to give us a better chance to pull something. Maybe a purple pull. Our first purple pull would be huge. Uh, maybe we get our first non-base card and add that to the squad. Looking forward to it. Also got all three tiers of the win rewards from the last week of rivals. If you missed last episode, the boys are streaking right now. We are on a current 11 game win streak. Last episode, we had four overtime wins. The team has been absolutely clutch. I'm thinking we do this 185 plus guaranteed players pack. I don't quite have 56 collectibles or I do the 86 plus. Uh, but I think this for 32 collectibles, I think that's good value. All right. Now we're going to start ripping through all these packs and then we might even have enough gold players to do an icon choice pack as well. We'll go ahead and start with the 85 plus guaranteed players pack that we just got from our seasonal rewards. And let's see what we get. Honestly, just an 85 overall it would still be a huge addition to the squad. You know, like an 85 Zegers would be pretty cool. Let's see what we get. 82, not bad. 85, goalie, female. Oh, all those seasonal collectibles, man. For an 85 goalie again. I don't know what I'm doing with untradeable 85s. I guess I should have thought about that. Because even if it was like an 85 Markstrom, at least he's usable. The female goalies are not usable. 5'6", 140. They just do not take up enough of the net. The skaters are fine. I, I love using the female skaters in this game because they're quick. They're agile. The way this game works, like you can do quick agile turns and those cards are harder to hit. Um, so they do have value in this game. But man... A goalie does nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. I still don't know what I'm going to do with the 85 pluses. What I could, theoretically, what I could do, if you guys are okay with this, I think this is within our rule book. I could trade in the 85s to try to make like an 84 MSP, like a starting 84 MSP, and then use that MSP, not on the squad, but use it in the reroll set because I can't use the 85 and the 84 plus reroll set. But maybe I can go get an 84 card, put it in that reroll set to hopefully get a different 85, you know? Um, let me know in the comments if you guys are okay with that. And then I'll, I'll think about it as well. Or if you guys have any ideas, given the rules of this series, what can I do with 85 plus cards that are untradeable? and kind of unusable which is basically just female goalies i think is everyone else i could just add to the squad and use right nonetheless we did get a bunch of gold players here and that is going to be useful jt miller might even make the squad especially since he's got uh what is that fly the zone on which we do have activated and want to keep activated all right premium one gold players pack untradeable this is just 180 plus overall give me an 82 give me an 82 plus 83 all right too bad we already have Rat Ray, but the 83s we can put, untradeable 83s we can put in that to reroll set, try to get an 84. Do ahead and quick reveal. We got one color change and it is an 82 Klingberg, not bad. That can allow me, I'll go ahead and sell my Klingberg that I have and I can add this Klingberg to the squad. Next up, we got two tradable premium packs here. These are kind of hit and miss. Sometimes they you get low key big pulls out of these. But usually they're just a bunch of stuff. What I'm going to do, though, is probably go sell those. Because coins are more important right now than gold players. Coins. Coins, coins, coins. And nothing here. We did get one tradable. That could be an 85. Or not tradable. We got one color change that could be all the way up to an 85. And it's an 80. All right. And we'll do a quick reveal. No color changes. Things you hate to see. Uh, but we're definitely gonna be able to rip an icon pack. So that's fun. Besides Mario and Wayne, 
there's really no icons that I would use on my main squad just because they're so expensive to level up. Like, you know, Tameless Solani is one of my favorite players, so it'd be kind of cool to use him, but like at the same time, uh, he probably wouldn't even be top nine in my squad right now, so my main squad. We got one color change, it's an 80. Give me your first purple. Give me a purple. No. 83. That's big. Actually, Marc Andre Fleury, 83. 6 2. Probably going to stick with the 82 old mark because he's bigger. But that gives us an 83. We might do an 83 uh, reroll set here to get an 84. I'll look into that. All right. Guaranteed 84 overall player pack. 84, 84, 84. Who's a good 84? I think is Stamkos an 84? That'd be a big pull. Or a Braden Point. Probably a ton more that are super usable. There we go. Johnny Goudreau. That's a solid card. 90 speed, 90 XL. Uh, silver close quarters is the best silver ability in the game, possibly. That's huge. That is huge. He is going to be a big upgrade to our top nine. And I'm glad I did that set. Let's go, baby. We have a power-up icon choice pack. One of three. So, jumping into this, there's a whole bunch of players that would actually be really big adds to this squad. Obviously, Mario, Lemieux, Wayne Gretzky would be insane. Any of the 87s would be huge add. Um, a Tamu Solani would be sick. A, a Lidstrom would be sick. And then even like some of the lower overall cards, like a Gartner has... Insane speed, so that'd be like the perfect card for my squad. Let's go ahead and start at the back and see what happens. All right, 82, Jason R. Not. Next up, 83. Probably not the best. 6'4, 220, and just too dang slow. Come on, come on. 83, Dennis Savard. Okay. How's the speed on this bad boy? Decent. 85. We'll just go ahead and get Savard because he is just a tad bit more usable. Thank God we got classic 5v5 rivals back. Three minute periods. You'll love to see it. We are over halfway to our Hut Champs registration. And we are almost at Div 4. We got 60 more points to go. There it is. <laughs> Easy. I love you, but you can't bat at the screen chasing my players around because then I can't see and I need to see the screen. Is that okay? Is that, is that fair enough? Huh? Dude, he's obsessed. My little hockey cat named after the cup. He's obsessed. I should have known. All right, I gotta take a time out here. I gotta take a time out here, bud. Sorry, bud. Go in the net. Oh, what? No way. <laughs> How did that go in? There's no way, dude. I didn't even shoot that. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> the slap shot goal. What a goal. Kucherov, two goals in this game. Let's go, bud. I do not score very many slap shot goals. That was sick. Little heel drag. Little puck on the string heel drag. To a nice little slap clap. Top rip. Top tit. Let's go, baby. Huge win for the squad. We're up to 12 wins in a row. There's the tip. Bye, Mick David. Seven goals. Let's go, Mick Daddy. Uh, I'll do the tie up. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? We predicted him. We win the face off. And then, who was that? Fowler just skated right through the puck. That's never happened to me before I'm doing that play. Damn, that sucks. Try to do too much. 
Well, boys, 12 game win streak. It was it was a ride, man. It took uh, a legit Div 4 player with good players. There we go, boys. We finally get a good cross crease pass. Oh my god! Let's go, boys! The go-ahead goal, too! Oh, 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 man! Oh, fuck yeah, bud! Oh. Oh. Please! Oh! Come on! Let's go, Shifley. Oh! Bergeron, how does that not go in? Oh! All right, that's gonna do it. Sloppy game. There's one second left, dude. You're down two. You literally can't win. <laughs> the big bounce back effort from the boys. We are 2-1 and one on the day. Gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode of the Div 6 Legends. We went 2-1 and one on the day, but we are now only one win away from getting promoted to Division 4. Last but not least, we got to give out our three stars of the episode. And with the third star, we have Mr. Connor McDavid, who picked up a couple goals here. He's already top three in goal scoring for our squad. And needless to say, he's been a huge addition in the last couple episodes. In the second star for this episode, we have Nikita Kucherov, who picked up the most goals in this episode with three. But the best play of the episode is going to our first star, and that is Matthew Barzell, who had that sweet goal from his knees. Gentlemen, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like and let me know if you want to see more of the Div 6 Legends. The boys are buzzing again. Can't wait to share more.